Hey guys, welcome to episode number 12 of Building and Beyond. I'm Rankist here, recording this episode for the second time. <laughs> so, I tried an experiment with my... with Fraps. I tried to see, hey, well, I, I know that to do HD video, you're going to need to bump up the amount of frames per second so that you can have a high resolution. And so I tried doing that, and I was recording at 60 frames per second, but Fraps could not record at 60 frames per second. So my video was crap. And the good thing is that I didn't really do much in that video. I did kind of a recap of what's been going on. So I'm going to recap again. All right, so it's been a while since I've last posted a video. Uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff off camera, uh, but I just haven't been able to record. And so, you know, things like my uh, upcoming wedding and all that stuff have have taken precedence. Uh, I, I've done a couple things. You know, I've, I've done a lot of wood harvesting. Uh, I straightened out this wood farm. It's now roughly in the same level. Uh, I had it like up and down in different areas because I didn't want to change the terrain. Uh, with that wood farm, but I, I found that it was just a pain in the butt when you were trying to do it quickly. So that is leveled off. At least each row is on the same level, or close to it. Uh, there's a couple that are a little bit different. Um, and so, also, I've been, I, I worked on some of the farm stuff. Now, if you look over here, uh, we've got, the farms are booming. You know, I've got all my crops. Uh, you know, I also went through and I planted some other wort, which is very similar to this. Now, in the last video, I actually just harvested these, so I'm not actually going to do that, um, which I think it's better that I don't do it anyways. Uh, but yeah, so, I, you know, you can go down, you just you clip all the way through, you can replant and then keep going. And I mean, it's not the most advanced uh, farm in the world, but it works. And, you know, in the last episode, I think I still have the total amount. Yep, this is what I've got. I've got two and a half stacks after a full complete harvest and replant um, which is not too shabby for uh, that kind of farm you know the the reeds are coming along and I probably should harvest those but as far as these goes you know I can go through and, and clip each one of these uh, as they grow up to make it more efficient but uh, I generally just wait till I have a full and so you go through Unless you want to, you know, if you're bored and you have nothing to do. Which, in a building series, you should know where to be. But, you know, you clip through. Now, from here, I just go and boom. Now, actually, the best thing to do, too, is make sure that you're not hungry. Because you will... And if you are hungry, just eat something. Because, you know, it makes replanting a lot easier when you are full. So yeah, and you just come through, boop, 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 and unfortunately, I believe it's, um, 90, I don't remember what the numbers are, but, uh, it's a little bit over a stack, so, uh, and again, I think I just redid potatoes. Now, the one thing that I've been working on, and I've been, uh, figuring out, is storage. I have uh, probably the worst storage ever, and I, it's not usually the case, uh, and, and the reason being is because I don't want to make anything too permanent. Uh, because everything is eventually going to be moved inside the ravine village. So, but what I did do is because this is kind of like my farming area, at least outdoors, is I've started to come up with a storage solution. Uh, right now, I only have this chest, and it is starting to get maxed out. Uh, you know, I just kind of did a rudimentary type of chest, and as you can tell, there's no more potatoes in here. And the reason being is because I will show you right now. So. I was trying to think of myself, how can I fit in storage without, you know, kind of covering this and turning this into another building? Which, again, I can still very well do, but I can take chests, put them outside like this, and boom, throw this in here. And as you can see, what's that? The, the plants, or the netherwort, is ticking down. And that's because underneath, I've got a hopper system. And so, I carved out a little hallway all the way down here and I'm probably gonna have to fight a zombie. Am I right? Nope, nope, won't be somewhere else. Cool. So I've got a hopper system right below and I just did this in the last episode. Uh, as you can see the nether wart is funneling down through the hoppers uh, and into the chest below. Now hoppers can go in any direction. 
Uh, they can, you know, pull resources out of a chest and they can go in multiple directions. It all depends on what you're looking at at the time when you place them, similar to the way wood does, or locks do, and, uh, and stairs. And so depending on that, you can actually get some really ingenious uh, methods of um, of storage. And, and you can automate you can almost automate things, and it's all dependent on how much storage you have. And, um, and then you can go go through, and there's there's a lot more redstone that you can go to make it a little bit more advanced and, and shoot things in other directions. But as far as a you know a basic setup uh, to begin with, I think this is definitely uh, something that's going to be uh, useful going down the road. So this will funnel down, and I can have this on both sides all the way down, and use this kind of like a storage shed. So you know if you look, you know any any of the uh, movies pertaining to out west, so say, like if there's a tornado, there's a twister coming, they all run to the storage shed underneath the, the barn area, and, and that, that's that's kind of what, what this would be. So we'll have a little doorway, you can kind of come in and, you know, make sure that we're home for uh, for Christmas with NAM. But yeah, so other than that, uh, I mean, that's pretty much the farming area. Uh, I add another couple blocks for, for sheepy, and... Uh, as far as our, our animal farms are going, I haven't been doing much. Uh, you know, I, I've been grabbing eggs when I when I come out of this direction and, and throwing them that way so I can get some more chickens. Uh, you know, I've been I bred the cows a little bit more, and you know, once I get everything figured out over there, uh, and quite frankly, once I actually have time to do it, uh, I will then build out animal farms. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to encircle this lake type area and maybe build the animal farms out this way. Uh, or maybe even up top. I, I technically am still missing um, the melon farms and the pumpkin farms. So uh, I will probably put them somewhere. But they're not as important because I just don't care yet. Not enough. Anyways, there, there are more important things to do than having a melon farm. Uh, at the moment. And so another thing I did is, like I said, I've been collecting wood like mad, and that's so that I can start working on those pillars. Uh, I added those in, and, you know, it makes this front entrance look huge, and that's what I'm excited about, which, uh, with this front entrance being so big, uh, you know, it'll give such a huge feel to the whole building. But what's great about this build is that as big as this building is going to look, the whole structure is... Really, I mean, this is really like the tip of the iceberg. And for those that have ever seen, you know, pictures of icebergs above, you know, you see the tip of the iceberg, and you know, the point is that it's a huge structure down below. So right below the surface, um, you know, people will, you'll, you'll find all these tunnels like we've been planning. And so one thing that I had to start doing is I had to start covering uh, the ravine over there so that I can um, build out and across. And this entire thing will be covered. Uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to, you know, maybe put some glass or, or have some windows type here to kind of use as a courtyard. Or I can possibly, you know, cover this all out in front here and then maybe just have a, like a glass bridge so that you know that there's more um, down to it below. And we have our <laughs> our slime farm. So we have slime chunks down here, which is kind of cool and kind of a pain. Um, but I've been collecting slime balls like crazy when I go down there. Uh, and then also I have been, I actually worked on this little hut a little bit. I printed it up. Uh, and really that was just more so that I can have more space because if you remember correctly, it was, I believe, up to like right here was the wall. And so I was running out of space. I needed more storage. Uh, so I dug out a little bit more and then I, I printed it up by adding some, um, some bricks, some smooth stone bricks. And so I've got some stairs and you know, a little divot here which adds a little bit of texture. Uh, and I got a little window here, so I can look out and and say, hello, ravine, and building. And then I can kind of see if it's if there's monsters out. And, you know, so just to show you what I've been doing with the wood, you know, I, uh, the spruce wood I've used a lot, but, uh, you know, the, the goal has been to get the spruce wood, but I figure might as well chop it down. The one issue that I've been running into is that I am running out of iron. Uh, I am going to need to harvest, or I'm going to go caving very soon, and I'm probably, when I say very soon, I mean right when I finish this episode, um, very quickly, I'm going to have to go down there. Uh, I, I may end up, you know, going off in that direction, and then building a traditional mine shaft down, because I, what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to go down this area, because I, yeah, I have a way, you know, 
people do strip mines and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I didn't want to go down and do that in this area, um, right by our ravines, because I didn't want to ruin the landscape by doing that. So I think that I'm going to actually go um, possibly back to the village area, yeah, maybe, or possibly in that direction, and then build my... Um, dig out a shaft to go strip mining down in that direction. Because I don't believe, if I remember the relative shape of the ravines, I believe the ravines are kind of contained to this extreme hills over here. Um, so if I go off in this direction and I do a strip mine, it's very unlikely that I'll run into, um, run into my ravines. And, you know, if I end up doing so, like maybe over there or whatever, then so be it. But the majority of what what's going to be in a ravine city would be the same. And then also, the last thing before I cut this episode, uh, is as far as what I've been doing, you know, I've been building the face of this, but you know, we can't keep on building the face of this building forever. So what I've been working on, um, you know, when I can, is I've been trying to dig this place out, but, you know, with the lack of iron that I've been having, uh, I've turned to using TNT. And in the last episode, I was actually, sh I showed um, you know, what you can do with TNT and, and how to actually harvest it. And fortunately, I don't have enough gunpowder to do it again, but um, essentially you dig out, you know, you dig four spaces in, you dig one direction, you know, one space in each direction past that four, so one to the left, one to the right, one in back, and then one above, and then you get, you set it off either be via a flint and steel or, you know, any sort of redstone signal, uh, and then it blows up. And so you get roughly about this big a hole. Um, let's fight. Give me your bow. No? Okay. Uh, so yeah, and so it blows up. And depending on whether or not there's, you know, other softer materials like dirt or whatnot, you get about this shape. And so that's what I've been kind of resorting to, you know, which this allows me to go do something, you know, farm something else, and then when nighttime comes, I can battle some creepers and get some more. Uh, TNT to then dig this out. Now, eventually, my goal is, depending on the right location, and I will do it, but I just, you know, I want to plan out where it's going to be before I set it up, is I will get a mob harvester, and that will allow me to get a lot of our mob supplies, um, with an exception of string, um, without having to, you know, sit and fight and battle. You, you build a mob harvester and you pretty much can AFK right by the thing and you come, oh, look, there's a chest full of supplies, yay! And then we can dig out what we want. So eventually, uh, I may figure out how to do that. Well, I know how to, but I may, I may figure out where I'm going to do it. Um, and then I will show you how to do that, obviously. Is, this is a let's play. Ha! So, you know, I... The one thing that has been very apparent, I mean, I'm going to have to spend some time in the creative world, too, because I, I, I don't know exactly how long this is going to be, and I still haven't figured out the working structure. I do know that I want to have some sort of arcing um, roof so that you can, you know, I can show off my my stair ability uh, in the build, because I think that when you have arcing roofs, it's, it's so much nicer um, than if you were to have just a flat roof. But, uh, so I'm going to have to work out how long I'm going to want to go that way because obviously I'm going to have to dig this out um, and then also off world I'm going to have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do for the future. Okay. But that is all for later episodes down the road. Get out of here, Spider. Yeah, this is what happened at the end of the last episode, too. Uh, but yeah, so in my next episode, I'm going to be caving again because I need to. And we're going to go off in that direction. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.